So for this differential equation, we're simply um, we're using an integrating factor. So for any differential equation, if you have something that looks like this, always get rid of anything that's in front of the y prime or the highest order. And uh, to do that, we're going to divide by x of everything. So we're going to get y prime plus 2 over x times y, which equals 3. Now, an integrating factor is a factor that su exists such as, you take the integral, uh, e to the integral, I know it looks kind of scary, but you uh, take the integral of this part of the equation, whatever's in front of the y. So, you get 2, you get 1 over x dx. Now, if you know your integrals or your identities, I don't know what you would call them, but uh, this would simply equal e to the 2 ln of x. And now, another rule of exponents, because you can't simply simplify this, because if you did, you get 2x, which is completely wrong. You get e to the ln of x squared, which is simply x squared. Now, since we have the integrating factor, we multiply everything by x squared in this formula. So, we simply do x squared y prime plus 2x plus times y equals 3x squared. Now you may be seeing a formula, a general formula. We, this is simply the product rule, right? right? So it's the product rule of y times x squared. So it's you have x squared here, derivative of y prime, plus the derivative of x squared, which is 2x, times y. So we could rewrite this equation simply as the integral of d dx of x squared times y dx which equals the integral of this. So the whole trick of integrating factors is that you gotta recognize that this is the product rule of this function. And we use the integral so we could integrate both sides. So you have this product rule within here. An integral of a derivative is just simply itself. And as we know our rules of exponents, or power rules, or the inverse power rules, we add one and divide by the new exponent. So I'm going to do that up here. So this simply becomes x squared times y equals, you divide by the new exponent, so you add one, which is three, divide by three, that's one, so it's x cubed plus c. Now that we have that, we could solve for a function of x of, uh, so we divide by x squared, so we get y of x now, since everything's in terms of x on this side. So you get x squared divided, or x cubed divided by x squared, that's just x, and then you get c over x squared. Now you may be asking why I didn't simplify this to, to just a constant. And the reason why, x is a variable, not a, not a number, it's a, it's a function. So it's a, so you only simplify this to a constant if this was just a number, but this is a function, you could view it as a function, or in other words, it's a variable. If it's a variable or a function or whatever, if it's not a number, this cannot be simplified to just another constant. So that is your general equation.